Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is using social media to your advantage. So the thing about social media is that it basically can suck up as much time as you have. Now, unless you have a dedicated social media person, then you're really going to have to focus on where are your audience at. So say if you have a product that's related to food, you want to be all over Instagram because it's such a visual thing. Instagram is so geared towards them. Now, if you have a news app, on the other hand, then Twitter is going to be your platform. But basically, the idea is that you only have so much time that you can dedicate to this activity of building social media following. If you try to spread yourself too thin or get all of your team to be on all of the socials, you will never win. So figure out who your users are, figure out where they are at, and then go and target that one platform and do it really, really well. But on the other hand, make sure that you grab the handles for your app or for your product on the big four. So that's Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Because if you've ever tried to buy back a handle, it is so expensive and so tedious that you will kick yourself for not thinking of getting it when you first launched. And in fact, there's professional squatters who basically just sign up all these random words and hope that some poor company is going to need it someday and they'll sell it for a couple of thousand. So grab your handles and focus on one platform. Now, the other thing you want to do, especially if you're making an app, is to make your app do your social media for you. What do I mean by this? So here's a story. Um, I think about a year and a half ago, there was this article on the New York Times about 36 questions to accelerate intimacy between strangers. And it was quite a fascinating read. It was based on the research of a sociologist who discovered that if you get two strangers to ask each other really intimate questions, like if you had to save your mum or dad, who would you pick and why? Um, so not your usual Tinder date kind of conversations. But if you got two strangers to reveal themselves and expose themselves in this way, and then at the end there was this like super creepy four minutes stare into each other's eyes um, until it hurts uh, kind of business, then apparently it will accelerate intimacy between two parties. So this article really made the rounds on all of my social media feeds. I saw it on Twitter come up again and again. People were discussing it. People were sharing it. It was all over Facebook. And clearly there was a huge amount of interest in this idea. And I ended up spending about two hours um, creating this really, really simple app that basically made it really easy to try it out. So instead of having to zoom in and swipe around on a blog post, you had an app that basically split the screen into two so that you can lay the phone down on the table and both parties can see the questions the right way up. And the app would indicate whose turn it was to go when. And then at the end, of course, there's the four minute timer uh, for the creepy staring. But finally, once you were done, you get given a compatibility score. Now, this is where I reveal to you my secret sauce. Um, for those of you guys who've done the iOS and the Android programming courses, then uh, you'll know what a random function is. And this is all it is. It's a arc for random function that pulls up a random number between 0 and 100%. The numbers are skewed to show up more uh, between 0 and 10% and 90 to 100%. And that's by design. Because through data, we found that if that compatibility score was very low or very high, people were incensed to share and shout about it. And to facilitate that action, there's a button called share on Facebook or share on Twitter. And then when they click one of those buttons, the pop up, the share dialog is pre-populated with the URL of the app and their compatibility score. So you see a lot of people posting on Facebook or Twitter saying, oh, you know, me and my Tinder date, uh, we have 99% uh, compatibility or me and my husband, we have 0% compatibility. For some reason, people are really interested in sharing this. And I hope that this has never contributed to uh, the breakdown of a relationship. But essentially, the idea is get your app to do your social media for you. Try and leverage the network effect. You can only reach so many people. But if all of your users reached all of their friends who then reached their friends, then those numbers are massive. So try and see if you can get your social media to be automated.